Chapter Eight of Iracema, the Honey Lips, a Legend of Brazil, by José de Alencar, translated by Isabel Burton. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Chapter Eight. The white gleam of dawn awoke the day and opened the eyes of the white warrior. The morning light dissolved the visions of the night, and drew from his mind the remembrance of his dream. There remained but a vague sensation as the perfume of the cactus clings to the forest clump, even after the sharp wind from the mountains has laid it bare in the early morn. He did not know where he was. Leaving the sacred grove, he met Iracema. The virgin was leaning against a rough trunk in the holt. Her eyes were on the ground. The color had fled her cheeks, and her heart trembled upon her lip like drops of dew on the bamboo frond. No smile, no freshness had the Indian maid. No buds, no flowers has the acacia scorched by the sun. No azure, no stars has the night when loud jars the wind. The forest bloom has opened to the sun ray. The birds have already sang, said the warrior. Why does only Iracema hang her head and remain silent? The daughter of the pajé trembled. Thus trembles the green palm when its bowl is shaken. Thus the rain tears are showered from its frond. Thus its fans quietly murmur. Calbi the brave is coming to the taba of his brothers. The stranger can depart with the now rising sun. Iracema, then, would see the stranger go from the prairies of the Tabajara. Then will gladness return to her heart. The Juruchi dove abandons the nest wherein she was born when the tree decays. No more shall joy visit the breast of Iracema. She will remain like the bare trunk, without branches, without shade. Marching supported the trembling form of the maiden. She rested wearily upon the warrior's bosom, like the young tendril of the baunilla, which twines tenderly round the sturdy branch of the angico acacia. The youth murmured, Thy guest remains, made with the black eyes. He stays to bring back upon thy cheek the flower of happiness, and to sip like the bee the honey of thy lips. Iracema disengaged herself from the youth's arms and looked at him with sadness. White warrior, Iracema is the daughter of the pajé and keeps the secret of the Jurema draft. The brave that shall possess the virgin of Tupin will die. And Iracema, if thou shouldst die. This word was a sight of agony. The youth's head fell upon his breast but soon he raised his form. The warriors of my race carry death with them, daughter of the Tabajaras. They do not fear it for themselves. They do not spare it to their foes. But never, unless in combat, do they leave open the camosin of the maiden in the wigwam of their host. Truth hath spoken by the mouth of Iracema. The stranger should leave the Tabajara camp should, said the maiden, like an echo. Then her voice sighed forth. The honey of Iracema's lips is like the honeycomb which the bee makes in the trunk of the guabiroba. Poisonous is its sweetness. The maiden with the blue eyes and sunny hair keeps for her brave in the taba of the pale faces the honey of the lily. Machin withdrew quickly and returned but slowly. A word trembled on his lips. The guest will go, that peace may return to Iracema's bosom. And he bears with him the light of Iracema's eyes and the flower of her soul. A strange noise re-echoed through the forest. The youth's glance sped in its direction. It is Calbi the brave's cry of joy, said the maid. 
Iracema's brother announces his safe return to the prairies of the Tabajara. Daughter of Araquém, conduct thy guest to the wigwam. It is time to depart. They paced side by side, like two fawns who at the sunset hour return through the wood to their nighting place, whence the scent of suspicion is borne by the breeze. When they reached the Juazeiros, they saw Calbi crossing beyond them, his broad shoulders bending under the weight of his chaise. Iracema went to meet him. The stranger entered the wigwam alone. End of chapter 8